Hey, good morning. Uh, we're heading out doing some yard sales today. I want you to join with us. I'm representing the Angels big time today. Um, they had a combined no-hitter last night in honor of Tyler Skaggs, a pitcher that died the other day. So that was a pretty emotional victory. And uh, I always represent the Angels, especially with my hat. But today I just had to double up on the uh, on the shirt too. So anyway, join us as uh, me and the old lady head out and uh, check out a few yard sales. Come on for the ride. Thanks. How y'all doing today? Good. Seventy-five. Can I do ten on it? Yeah. Sure. All right. Sounds good. You don't have any old iPads you want to get rid of or iPhones or anything like that? I do not. Okay. All right. Sure Working or broken. That's right. Working <laughs> or broken. All right. Let me get you some money here. Maybe if I can get it out of my pocket. Yeah, that's never been opened, so all okay. the pieces should be there. Cool. All right. All y'all right, have a wonderful day. All right. Thank Take you. care. You do the same. All right, so we're gonna try that Tabasco tie and a Coke tie. They were a dollar. I don't know if they're worth anything or not, but um, we got the Lego game. Bionicle. The Bionicle by Lego. Uh, they wanted seven bucks. We basically got it for five. And it's brand new. Should go for about 44. So um, overall, not bad. And uh, we'll keep going. How you doing this morning? We got it. Didn't <laughs> break. All good. What can I sell you? You don't want. Well, are you Wally? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? You still the Ice Man? No, no, that was oh, Donnie. Yeah. Donnie Mac was uh, the oh, okay. Ice Guy. He all was right. a Zamboni guy. Yeah. All right. You still was, with the I club? Was, no, I, I retired. In you were. That's right. You were the. Uh, Head equipment manager. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I do. I still do my stuff. I'm video. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> That's fine. Do you miss being with the team? No. no really? I don't miss the 21 hour day. <laughs> no. That's no, awesome. I've, I've been in the. I was in the business since 1972, so it's a long time. Yeah. So I figured it's time to leave. Yeah. And All I, right. I just want to do my own thing. Yeah. So I build. I still. I'm into building and designing skate runners for like 400 guys in the NHL. 
So that's that awesome. Like that. Good for you. Keeps me busy. With all the technology we have today, you can just set up CAD files, do the... I mean, I have patents on a lot of stuff, uh -huh. so nobody else can do it. <laughs> that's awesome. Good yeah. for you, dude. So I've been doing this uh, plate hockey, worked in the factory. It's time to slow down a little bit. Well, I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> the last time. So have you been going to any games or anything? You I have my tickets, but I don't go. I haven't been to a game since every time. Really? I have my tickets, though. So. Yeah. It's kind of hard to go to a game because... Oh yeah. Since 1972, so you see so much goes on on the ice. Yeah. It's hard for me to go sit in the stands. I I, I watch it on TV because when I get upset, I just shut it off. <laughs> when I'm on the bench, I get to bite my tongue. Right. You know, they all. It's like all of us in the hockey business, eh? We all work together sometimes. <laughs> you know, if you're in, like I always tell people, if you're in the hockey business long enough and can live long enough. The people that you looked after in junior are now GMs and coaches. Like Paul Maurice, I had him in, in junior, uh -huh. okay? I had uh, Tommy Webster, played with Boston in junior. I had um, uh, Claude Julian, okay? Really? I had him for three years. Um, Joel Quinville, uh -huh. I had him for four years. So you know That's what? Awesome. Yeah. You always treat the same treat the same people like you want to be treated. So always remember, and I tell people this all the time, never burn bridges. Never. Yeah. I says, you know what? Remember one thing. You meet the same, same people going up the ladder as you, you do going down. Them. Absolutely. So I said, you know, and I've always had a great rapport with everybody that I've ever worked with. Eh? Because, you you know, as a player, yeah. hey, you know, as a player, you understand what's going on with them. So when I played junior and senior back in 1960, okay, I had problems the same as these guys today, eh? But a little different. Then. <laughs> we only had 16s in the NHL, now we got 30, 32. Right. Yeah. But right. I'm just saying, you know, like, you understand. Like, I had, uh, last, last time um, Pittsburgh was in, Crosby wanted me to come down and talk to him. So I went down and I said, Sid, what's up? He said, well, you know, he says, I've been on your system for a long time. He says, uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, I want to go a little higher and uh, less hollow. But I have I, I had hard I had hard issues trying to get from that half inch to the five eighths. But I, I worked. That's a little sit. I said again, it's the player process. I said we can tip you forward a little bit, and then you try it and uh, try to go to three quarter. I said just remember one thing: you're getting old, you said. <laughs> just remember, the body wears down. Right. Okay. I said Ronnie Francis came to us in 2002. I said he was on a 5.8 hollow, just a 9 foot radius. I said I put him on uh, 35, 65, and he went up to an inch and a half. Really? Yeah. Wow. Inch and a half hollow. Hardly any hollow at all. Yeah. And I didn't think he could do it, but he did. Yeah. So that's something you have to work with and, and yeah. figure it out, you know. So that was Wally Tatimer, who worked for the Hartford Whalers and the Carolina Hurricanes for years and years and years. He is a master at building skates and sharpening skates and that kind of thing. He has lots of patents, as he was telling us. So that was kind of neat. Hadn't seen, what had not met Wally. I've seen him a hundred times, but I had not met him. So anyway, off to the next yard sale. Good, how are you? A couple questions. Uh -huh. How much for these? $5. For all four? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, $5 for each. each. Yeah. Uh, no. Why, what would you give me for? I'll give you a dollar a piece for them. <laughs> At least $2 for it. I mean, the, the, yeah. I'll give you five for all four. I'll give you five for all four. It's just old CDs. It's not that worth that much. I mean, see, to me, they do. So. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'll give you five for these, but that's that's the best I can do. Yeah, six. I'll take six for it. I mean, just the, I mean that's just. The, I know they're brand new.
So the Tesla's in the yard, so it's in the yard sale, right? <laughs> Make me a deal. Well, go ahead and give me a hundred thousand for it. <laughs> I gotta go back to the car for that much okay, money. Gotcha. Can you write me a check? Yeah. I'll write you, you a check. If you have to take a check, I'll make a check. <laughs> <laughs> How do I feel about that? Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah. I can tell you how you feel. Uh, yeah, I know how I feel. <laughs> So is this a fake Gucci? For Gucci? Huh? Is that a fake Gucci? It's a for Gucci? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Actually, uh, does it actually say Gucci in it? It does. It does. Yeah, it's a for Gucci. Yeah, for yeah Gucci, it's probably awesome. a New York Gucci. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This thing works? Yeah. You don't have the remote for it, do you? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll have to think about that then. How much is on it? I don't, didn't see a price. All right, we'll think about that. That's probably not too shabby. How old are those speakers? Very. They are from Japan. Are they? Actually bought in Japan, Okinawa. They were my father's. Really? And he bought them in 1970. Wow. But they still work. Is there any scratching on them? Like when you, on the volume? I guess it, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not oh, thinking right. Yeah, those are just the crossovers. Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh man, I don't know if I want to deal with that. <sighs> Thank you very much, I appreciate it. It's an odd collection of stuff. Yeah. What yard sales usually end up in. There's a way different families can help people. Okay. Take a look at those Sansui speakers. They're old. But. What was he asking for? 40 for the pair. I sold for two fifty. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to ship. It's not that big a deal. Uh, <laughs> I don't care, honey. They didn't sell for one fifty. That's eight thousand. So here's on the. I don't want to miss. So the just the now. speaker controls were sixty. Yeah, but that'd be easy to ship though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The woofer was eighty. Up to the grills and badges and screws 30. I can go talk him down to 20. Man, he really this guy really parted him out and sold a ton of different things. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, you'll do it. Okay, would you do 20 on the speakers? Right. Sure, okay, I'll do that. Get those out of your way. Yep, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we'll get it out of your way. <laughs> I can take a hint. <laughs> well, you know. I hear you. Guys. <laughs> oh, good lord, these are heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It might be a two person job to get them. Yeah. They've got the big package. Oh. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, I didn't grab that. I'll, I'll go grab that thing. 
<laughs> You're not gonna let me out of here. What's that? That DVD player. How much you about them? Twenty for everything. I just felt like you needed it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate sure. it. Have a good day. They're sand suey speakers. Twenty five hundreds. We should be able to part them out. Probably make a couple hundred dollars per speaker. Is my guess. So we'll see. At least three hundred. I like that price. I can't beat that price. You don't want a left hand one, do you? What is this? No, but how about I pay a dollar for the next one? Two. Huh? Two. A dollar. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Do you want the camera? Yeah, we'll take I like the black. I like this one for me. You might wear this. You might wear that one. I might wear that. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you all. Did you pay for this? I did. And you paid for these. Yeah, I didn't buy the sports, Sony sports thing. Do you? Oh, I gotta get it. Do you guys? Do you want it? Not unless you want. No, I just okay. was showing you in case you wanted it. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. You too. You guys as well. Thank you so much for stopping and making things easy for us. Yeah. Those are just pretty much all playing.